It seems like Pokemon card shill bidding scams are running rampant lately, and is there even anything you can do about it? What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. You're watching the channel, Dr. Applesauce 2. My name's Will. It's another beautiful day here in Texas. I hope you guys know that I love you, God loves you, and that there is an awesome plan for your life. Pokemon card shill bidding that has been an issue for a while, but it seems like it's running even more rampant lately than ever. Now, what we're going to talk about today specifically are two specific examples. We're going to be talking about the Pikachu SIR from Surging Sparks and the Moonbrion from Evolving Skies. These are both incredibly popular cards, and the Moonbrion is no stranger to being manipulated by price. I'm really curious, is there anything that we can do about this as a community as a whole. Obviously, there's things that you can do to not be an idiot and spend $10,000 on a brand new modern card. Like, who would be stupid enough to do that? Drop me a comment down below, guys. Let me know if you think there's anything that we can do to avoid this in the future. So two very recent examples are the Pikachu SIR from Surging Sparks in a PSA 10 that supposedly went for $420,000 that we found out to be BS. And another one that I found yesterday that is a copy of um, Umbreon VMAX or the Moonbreon from Evolving Skies uh, that looks like it's in like a heavily played, moderately played condition with $11,000 worth of bids on eBay for a raw heavily played, moderately played cards. Now, these are the two chief examples that I want to use because these prices are obviously freaking bonkers. Like, no, there should be no way a modern Pokemon card is going for $420,000 when it's less than, you know, a month old. And then another modern Pokemon card, Raw, going for $11,000. These numbers are beyond the pale, but this is perfect examples of some of these schemes and scams that are going on where people are blatantly attempting and sometimes successfully manipulating the Pokemon card market for their own gain and making cards a lot more increased value and more expensive than they really should be. Take this Moonbrion right here, for example, $11,200 with 24 bids. Now this ended at that uh, by somebody with 100% positive feedback. When you look closely at the pictures, for me personally, it's hard to tell if this is even a real card. It kind of looks like the card might not have the appropriate texturing. The pictures are really bad. So honestly, it's really hard to tell. But $11,000 for this card raw is obviously a shill bid and it's obviously an attempt to really overly inflate the value of this card even more when this card is already incredibly expensive. Now the example that everybody's been talking about for the past few days is the PSA 10 Pikachu SIR from Surging Sparks that ultimately ended up at a ending bid of $420,000. But it started first appearing on the market. We saw it in a couple different places. You saw it at a bid for $50,000 and that got people talking. And then we saw it at a bid for $150,000 and that really started getting people talking and then it apparently ended at a bid of four hundred and twenty thousand dollars as you can see on this screenshot right here that i snagged from a uh, pokey and e's video as this listing has been removed and it's hard to find pictures of it now but this is a perfect example of just how blatant the shill bidding and the scamming of market value of cards is becoming in the market right now. $420,000. And then Pokey Any even shows in his video, I took a screenshot of it here, as how many of these, like the last few hundred of these bids were all from BS accounts. The same few BS accounts that have very little to no feedback. And it's obvious to look at these and see that something is, some shenanigans are happening. Now, why do people do this, Will, you might say? It's obvious that it's going to be um, removed and it's not going to really be taken into account. Well, the reason people will do this is even if it's obvious these things will be removed is in the interim, in the day or two days or three days that it's not removed, people lose their minds and other people that want to sell will sell and people that want to buy are thinking, oh my God, this card sold for $400,000 in a PSA 10 or 500,000 or 3,000 or whatever. I better hop, hurry up and hop on and buy the raw card for $1,000. And then what you see is what you see here. When the dust settles and the listings are removed, there's already dozens and dozens of verified sold listings for $600, $500, more than twice what the card was originally going for when that was already inflated. So after these shill bidding attempts happen, you can see here too as well in uh, PSA 10, $3,000. Guys, $3,000 for a modern PSA 10 card that's uh, two weeks old is 
bonkers. It's direct manipulation of the market. It is direct scamming and shill bidding of people wanting to make the most of their money possible and control the market. And you even could go so far as to say it's people that are buying up all the cards at $300 and then shill bidding, shill bidding and getting it pumped up to where now they sell them all at $600 and double their money effectively. And then we end up seeing things like this where you see people who like this guy who is fielding offers on what looks to be a damaged Pikachu EX. You can see right there on the left hand side, it looks like it's bent asking $900 but showing comps of $600 because in the comments the guy said the price is surging upward so it's worth $900 instead of $600. This is the consequence of these times when people shill bid and scam the market so so much you have people like this that think they can take advantage of it and then you have people that are hyped up on FOMO or people who don't want to miss out who will buy into this crap. And that all begs the question, what can we do about this? Is there anything that we can do about this? Really, the only thing you can do is protect yourself as a collector. Refuse to pay these exorbitant prices for cards and refuse to fall into the hype and FOMO because the reality is if enough ne'er-do-wells with um, malicious intent got together, they can do this. As you're seeing, it's being done. It has been done in the past. So the best thing that you can do for yourself is to stay informed and be able to notice and acknowledge when some crazy numbers like this are happening and then decide, I guess I don't need that card. I can live without that card because there's too much crap going around it. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about these two cards being crazily manipulated. Are you gonna, would you spend $300 on this Pikachu card? Let me know in the comments below. If you, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. It's free for you to do. It helps the channel a ton. And then go check that video right there. YouTube says you'll like it a lot too. And like I always say, my friends, find somebody to love and serve today. Be the change you wanna see in the world. See you next time.